Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, and we're playing more. This is the police, the popo. And before we get started, I just wanted to say thank you for all the new subs that have subscribed to my channel. It means a lot that you're subbing and you're supporting my channel, and uh, the comments are like extreme, extremely nice. And so, what's what's the word? It, it gives me the motivation to like keep like pursuing my dream. I'm not gonna talk about dreams and goals just yet. Um, I just want to kind of chill out on this lovely Sunday evening and play This Is The Palace. Uh, if you haven't seen any of my other videos recently, you can check them out. I've completed episode 1 of Batman by Telltale Games. Um, there's some closed alpha footage of For Honor, which was uh, a bit of a, like a surprise for me because I didn't really... I, expect to get like a key from Ubisoft so it was really nice of them to do that and uh, I'm still getting used to this headset I can't hear anything outside so it's weird so I can only hear a little bit of my voice so it's gonna take quite a lot of time to get used to that and uh, yeah without further ado let's get back to the game the golden bird Thomas Blaine pregnant woman killer sent to mental hospital Freeburg Tribune According to Dr. Eleanor Waterbury, Thomas Blaine has a new form of schizophrenia. Ooh. The fact, Freeburg's number one paper, Mayor Rogers not afraid of the comp competition? Is it? Well, I don't know, I'm tired. Let's go to work. And I didn't even put <laughs> I didn't even put my controller in one sec. And we're back with the controller live. Let's go to work. God damn it, Jack. Get a new car, man. Mr. Boyd, there was a man here earlier. He left you this. Oh, shit. A what man? What man? Who let him on this floor? I don't know. I've never seen him before. I asked him his name, but he just ignored me. He was talking on a big telephone, you know, one of those portables. He gave me this envelope and left. Damn. Okay, let's see about this. I know those telephones very well. Those big, solid bricks. Oh, it's Kendrick. Of course, they could have shot them the second they took the photo. But I knew Kendrick and his family were all right. Either way, the message Jesus. was not that they got out. It meant that I was in. My servitude to the Mafia had begun. Oh, I'd only no. been in my new position five seconds, and I already knew why Kendrick called it a contract. You sound doomed if you call it what it is. A curse. Boyd. Good morning, Jack. I believe you just received my message. Who am I speaking with? Oh, I'm sorry. I forget some people don't recognize my voice. But I assure you, Jack, if I was sitting right there in front of you, you'd have no trouble recognizing me. Like I was a member of your family. Even better than a wife, perhaps. A wife can betray you. No man is immune. I don't talk to people who don't tell me their names. Oh, Jack, don't be so childish. You're too old to run away from strangers. Yes, we both are. And in our old age, friendship becomes rare and all the more precious. But of course, we must work with new people and find out new names. So if you insist, Jack, let us formally meet. Hello, Jack Boyd. I'm Christopher Sand. Wonderful, Mr. Sand. And what is it you do for a living? Oh, you'll soon find out all about that. Well, you'll learn much more than a simple policeman could ever expect. You're a simple policeman no longer, Jack. Don't turn off your phone. You start today. <laughs> oh, shit. I guess we're working the mafia Eight now. in ten. It's been my go-to principle since my first day on the job. I've got to let my colleagues hush up what they need to, two out of ten times, so that they'll help me with the remaining eight. Eighty out of a hundred, eight hundred out of a thousand. I'm proud of those statistics. It's not so bad for Freeburg, right? But now I just officially became a mafia whore. I'm supposed to be fearing for my life, for the lives of my wife and children. But the only thing I can think... What's going to happen to 8 and 10? 
Oh no, not this shit. While I was taking out the trash tonight, I accidentally got into some poison ivy this morning. I noticed my feet were blistered. It doesn't look like anything serious, but I'd like to see a doctor just in case. Can I take the day off? Uh, that would seem kind of important, but so yeah, you can. You can oh, no more? Oh, I thought it would be another. Like five people wanted to take the day off work. Um, Kochi, maybe? Yancey? Sissel's got two, so he's he's very high up in the ranks. So, Asano, you're, you're going to go out the door soon. Like killing two of those cops last time. I, I'll always remember that. Uh, let's give one to Yancey. Can I not give it? Oh, it's X. Sorry. Let's start the day. Let's uh, let's listen to this. Billabong. Oh yeah. Oh no, fire all the black cops. We didn't do that, right? Jack, you swore an oath to the city. If you can't keep your promises, we won't keep ours. But we didn't want to do that. Oh yes, we got an improvement from the... Yes, we can hire one more cop. Ooh! Chen Kit... P Pong? Hana? <laughs> oh my god. Definitely gotta hire him. Um, I'm getting used to these controllers, holy crap. We need a... What's going on? Police station... Can we look at the... Okay, we got... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight cops. One, two, three, four, five. I think we need more in shift B. So we're gonna go shift B. And I think we need another one in shift B, right? Ooh, look at this guy. Look at his hair. He's professional enough. How do we scroll down? We can't scroll down. What the? <laughs> what the hell? Oh well. I didn't want any new detectives anyway. So we can do this in four days. Alright, cool. Let's, uh... Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh no. How do I... Screw it, I'm not using the controller. I'm using the mouse. It's too damn difficult with the controller. You just have to bear with the clicky clicky sound. I'm gonna send Yancey and somebody. Do we need SWAT maybe? Homicide? No, I think they'll be alright. We got an attempted murder. Sugar cream confectionery. Go away, flying. Go away! A young employer at the factory got into a fight with the manager and this and is trying to push him into a vat of boiling chocolate. Holy crap. This is a job for Gochi. And let's send Austin. I think I think she'll level up. Well get some points out of Gochi. Let's see, uh no gangs yet. We've got a robbery. And they're gonna arrest the suspects. Uh, we can assign some detectives here, so you can uh, do the case faster. Ah, oh, so nice. So chill. It's so weird, like, wearing these headsets and it's the, the cloud. The, I don't know, HyperX cloud? It's like, uh, noise cancelling, so I can't hear anything outside. It's really disturbing me. Okay, we got carjacking in the suburbs. Parking lot attendant Dylan Burns reports seeing a teenager walking between cars, trying, trying handles in hopes of finding an unlocked vehicle. Before the attendant could approach him, the teenager found an unlocked door and shut himself inside. A few seconds later, the teen drove, shrieking from the parking lot, Greatly exceeding the speed limit, he fled towards the suburbs. Okay, this, this is a big job, and we're gonna send Sissel, Purdy, 
And bad luck, Asano. Ooh, attempted murder. Let's see what we got. Yes, that's what we want. There we go, Austin. You're gonna be an average cop in no time. I'm going to the side. Offender caught. Oh, yes. Good job, the Brito Yancy and Samadhi. Oh, look at that. That's so good. We also solved the case. The case is closed. And everyone's got full points. A lot of points given to that. Um, see, now I can scroll down with my mouse. So, we need another cop. But... We got like full house for both, so, so we sh which one's lower? I think team B is still lower. No, actually, we're gonna send Jeffrey Garner to shift A. There we go. Songs, let's see if we can buy some songs. Oh, we can't buy songs yet. Oh, damn. I assume we can buy songs because the, look at the shelf, it's like barely, Barely any songs there, so it'd be cool. Okay, suburbs officers have determined the car theft location. Catch up with a stolen vehicle and open fire. Overtake the criminal and attempt to take him to, into custody, or overtake the fender and block the road. Hmm. Let's see. This will cause the person to like get injured, or will probably get one of our cops injured. So I don't think it's that one. Overtaking the criminal and attempt to take him into custody. That might open up into something. We could block the road, but we could seriously harm ourselves too. Let's go with this one. Oh, yes. Good job, guys. The bad luck has gone from Asano. Oh, got a hostage situation. One four. A, a weeping child called in, saying that someone was holding him against his will. They won't let him go outside. They torture me and bully me. I don't think I can keep going. I want to go outside and see Pete. Who is Pete? Oh my god. This seems like a false, false one. Because, you know, children always make up like random stories and shit. But we're gonna send Kochi and Samadhi and Austin. Just in case. You never know. Got 8k in the bank, oh yeah. I don't think we've, we've failed anything just yet. Well, failed in this uh, this day. Which is really good. And now all the good cops are coming back. Perfect. Good. Got theft. Uh, at the casino, we received a call from an angry casino patron. He claims that one of the casino girls that was hanging around his table lifted his wallet which was carrying a couple thousand dollars in cash and several credit cards. Casino security shoved him outside saying that he was drunk, but the man isn't giving up so easily. Mm, let's send Purdy and Asano. This doesn't seem like a... like a big job. Ooh. Christopher Sand. Jack, we're dealing with a moron who refuses to repay his debts. Says that the police will protect him. I think it's time we show him whose side the police are on. Okay, we're gonna send Yancey. Go, you do it. You be the mafia bitch. I knew it. It was a false alarm. What? His mother wouldn't let him play outside because he didn't eat his broccoli? Oh my god. That does sound like bullying right there. Getting bullied to eat some broccoli, I don't think so. Not today. Seems like today is quite, uh, nothing's happening. Oh yeah, officer, offender caught, officer's unharmed. That's what we want to see. Bad luck Asano is going to be good luck Asano soon. Uh oh. Assault with a deadly weapon. At the city center. At a parking lot exit, a security guard stopped a suspicious looking van and asked to check the driver's membership card. The female driver reached casually into the glove compartment and pulled out a gun and opened fire. Holy shit. I'm gonna send all our good cops and one bad one. Two good cops, one average, one below average. Let's see how this goes out. 
Goes out, turns out, same thing. Go. <clears throat> we should be getting some slides soon. Maybe not today or maybe tomorrow. Hopefully. We've got a situation oh. Here. A police cruiser has caught up with the perpetrator's van. Try to run the van off the road. Use the bullhorn to order the van to stop. Shoot the criminal's tires. Whew. I don't know. I think the bullhorn would do. I think. Oh, God. The van takes a sharp turn and crashes through the window of a sex store. A woman exits the vehicle, grabs the shop attendant, and puts a gun to his head. Let go of the man right now. Throw a rubber sex doll at the silent. Shoot the criminal in the head. <clears throat> oh my god. This, uh... I feel that we might kill the... The guy instead. Let's go with... Let the man go. Oh, is it? Oh, yes. Good job, guys. Whew. That was a close call. I'm not sure what would happen if we threw a sex doll at her. Be a bit freaked out, maybe. Shit her pants or something, I don't know. So day six in Freeburg has turned out to be a decent one so far. Oh yeah, we got frames. Let's look at this. Mrs. Liang. Bao Liang, the victim. Me and my husband got into a difficult financial situation and I was going to on an antique necklace which has been in the family for many centuries as I was carrying the necklace to the pawn shop someone ripped the bag from my shoulder and disappeared I didn't have time to do anything not even cry out damn that sucks Dwayne Fishman witness the offender was on his motorcycle he drove down the road grabbed the bag and escaped I tried to race after him but I didn't even have time to see if it was a man or a woman not helpful, man. Not helpful. And Anita J. Olivares, witness. I couldn't see his face, but he was dressed in the jacket like those other bikers who hang around on the street corners. Ooh. Kathy Phillip. Phillips. It was definitely not a local biker. They are bald and have beards, but this guy looked Asian. Probably Japanese or Chinese. Okay. And Thomas Patterson says, I didn't see a weapon in his hands. I just saw him grab her bag and ride off. Okay. So she's standing here and she's almost crying in the picture. So I think it might be this one. That one. And that one. Ah, oh, yes. First try, baby. Okay. Chinese immigrant recently expelled from the university. Oh. No wonder he wants to steal the bag. Okay. After being expelled from the university, Quan Yin, Quan Yin Lin moved here. So we can send two of our officers. And I think it's almost the end of the day, so we should send these two guys out. Maybe this... No, SWAT? No, it was just a robbery, so... Oh. No, we're going to do this tomorrow because uh, he's in shift day, I think. Okay, never mind. No worries. We'll just leave it for tomorrow's shift. Hopefully, it won't like take the day off. <laughs> There's a snake in my boot. I need a day off work. No, you're going to get this guy that stole the purse. That's what you're going to do. Okay, that's the end of shift B on day six. Fantastic. Day seven. <laughs>